My name's Anita Carney. Uh, I'm Vice Principal here at St Anselm's Catholic School. We started off just using it with our English teachers and part of the English curriculum and has now spread across all areas of the curriculum. To develop consistency across Bedrock, across all of our subjects, we asked that subject leaders spend some time as a department really thinking about what are the key words that students need to be successful in that particular term. That allows not only for students to be learning the right words at the right time, but it allows for subject departments to really have those detailed conversations like what are the words that are really going to unlock their conceptual understanding in our subject and help them to achieve excellence within it as well. It's very much tying in when we got to choose our words per cycle, uh, cycle is nine weeks, of work that we set, that the words that were available, tier three words, mirrored what we were actually studying. That made our job a lot easier. We didn't have to go out and trawl for these words and you gave us a significant opportunity. And we therefore we're in a position where we can actually cherry pick what we thought were the five or so best words that met the needs of the students for that particular type and style of work. Without a bedrock, the wider understanding and context wasn't really there. So when they looked at a word, it was quite individual. Comprehension was there, but not necessarily, I'd like say that, that linking and in, in interweaving of understanding of the curriculum as well. And it just took a lot of time. So with our subjects, we use it at Key Stage 3. We set words as homework and to reinforce and embed the words that we're using in the curriculum. So the words we use match what we're teaching that term and the students go through those words for homework and we are able to check and see if they've actually understood them and what they've learnt. We primarily set bedrock for um, homework tasks. So basically um, each student is given, um, in each particular year group is given a set of keywords that are tasked to do for bedrock. It normally takes them um, 15 to 20 minutes to complete and each cycle or each term, if you will, um, they have to learn those keywords and those keywords will come up in the um, end of unit assessment. It's also, we've seen a lot of it, we have a homework provision as well, uh, both at lunch times and after school, where we're supporting students uh, with their homework. A lot of them are doing bedrock in there. So actually staff have seen firsthand as well the engagement. It's not as though the students are just doing it at home. Some of them are doing it in school and they do like the motivation that comes with that. We use bedrock now as a great pre-learning tool. The mapper words are fantastic because students know before they've entered a lesson and when they see the keywords. So we haven't stopped using keywords, we've continued to use them, but now they're embedded and students are able to see that word and they already know about it. They already feel comfortable with it. They walk into your lesson and tell you what they already know. Each week we get a report which details which word students have successfully mastered and which ones they haven't. That gives me really, really helpful teaching information so that I can tailor my lessons to ensure that all students understand the key concepts and the key vocabulary but also to ensure that I'm using those words within the lesson and the expectation is that they use those within their written responses as well. Well, as a subject, it empowers us to meet as a department and iron out which words, key tier three words, students have understood, or more importantly, those words that they haven't misunderstood. And then we can iron out those difficulties uh, in preparation for tests. Well, we review the, um, the pupil premium strategy um, four times a year and I get the, uh, a summary from the literacy lead which just gives me a very simple overview of who made progress, how much progress and we split it as well between PP and non-PP just so we can see that difference. It's really great that we can use bedrock across all subjects in our school. Um, I think when you're trying to do whole school literacy and do something significant that's really going to have value. It's hard to do something that's going to work for everyone because with disciplinary literacy, every subject has their nuanced way of reading, writing and speaking. Bedrock is really good because it levels that playing field of the approach and it allows us to be really consistent. Subjects just get to cherry pick their words, but the way that students learn is completely consistent.